So, tell me, do you like what I've done to the place? Uh, um... So you're saying you don't like it? It's just not my style. Really? I thought you love it. Um, it's just the walls are teal. <laughs> and that's your favorite color. I never said I wanted our walls to be that color. I tried to do something nice and... I like it. You just said that you don't. I think it's working for the room. Opens it up nice. You actually mean that? Yeah, it brings some color in. Plus, it looks good with my peach comforter. Well, I hope it grows on you. I'm sure it will. Wow, it's so different now that we don't have bunk beds anymore. I know. It's kind of sad, isn't it? Yeah. It only took us 20-something years, but we finally got real big kid beds. I know. It's less summer camp. Now it's more college dorm. <laughs> Is this what yours looks like this year? You haven't seen pictures? No, I haven't. Oh, well, it's spacious. It's an on-campus apartment with a full kitchen and all. Wow, really? Yeah, it's a big step up for my tiny dorm last year. And I get to be with all my friends. We do movie nights, game nights. I miss them already. Yeah, I bet. What? Nothing. Oh, come on, Maggie, what? It's just sometimes I get a little sad that I didn't get that college experience like you. Oh, Maggie, you know I didn't mean it like that. I know. It's just you're living this interesting life and I'm here redecorating our childhood bedroom. I'm 24 years old and I haven't gone to college. It's okay you didn't go to college. It feels like a setback. You weren't ready at the time. I was afraid. Just afraid of growing up. Well, the room looks great. And it's okay to be scared. Yeah. I mean it. It's totally fine. There really isn't any rush. You can go to college when you want. Yeah, maybe one day. I'm just glad that you're home. Yeah. You don't sound so excited to be home. Really? I mean, yeah. I've been counting down the days until Thanksgiving and I've been cleaning the house like a mad woman and now well you're finally here and tomorrow is the day and great aunt Marie will be here any minute listen Maggie you know I love spending time with you I like the food too I just don't think that Thanksgiving is anything worth getting excited for plus I mean mom and her drama with uncle Greg she won't stop making snide remarks about him oh come on Call me crazy, but I don't want to listen to mom and dad fight about politics. And sometimes they fight over things that aren't even serious. Like, mom will go crazy when dad leaves one single dish in the sink. It's usually not that bad. I'm sorry, are you new here? Uh, no. I'm the one who lives here full time. Okay, I didn't mean it like that. Then what did you mean by that? I love you guys. You know that but you know how much I enjoy being at school. I guess I just can't relate. But you like it here. I like being here, yes, but I wanna move out someday. I got a new job. Maggie, oh my gosh, congrats. Where is it? Well, you know Rogers Art, the little art gallery we used to go to as kids? You know the one that Papa would take us to? Maggie! Did you get the manager position that you've been wanting for a while now? Oh, um, no, I'm not. I'm working at the front desk. They have someone else as a new manager now. Her name is Sarah. Oh, well, that's a great opportunity and a perfect way to get your foot in the door. Thanks. Uh, what about you? How is the job hunt going? Well, I have a job offer. You're kidding. Nope. Wow, that accounting degree coming in handy. 
Yeah. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to take it. And why the heck not? Oh, it's, uh, well, it's in San Francisco. Oh, my gosh. I know. It's far. But do you think you want to do it? I mean, I want to. I really want to. Wow. But for now, let's just keep this a secret between the two of us, okay? Rachel. Listen, it's just a little complicated, and it's tied into the Derek thing because, well, Derek would come with me if I did take the job offer. Rachel, you've only been dating him for three months. That's crazy talk. So that's the other thing. I've actually been with him for a year, and as of a few days ago, we're engaged. <laughs> Rachel, are you kidding me? How did you not tell me? I was just worried. Well, are you going to show me the ring or what? <laughs> Here it is. Wow. It's beautiful, isn't it? It is. But Rachel, this is still all so sudden. I mean, that's not a long time to be dating someone. And you're so young. Derek loves me. And he's serious about our relationship. So yeah, we're ready for this. Wow. It's just weird seeing my baby sister engage. And it's just so sudden. I can't help but worry. It's an older sister type of thing. You're like a second mom. I know. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> you could say that. So, you gotta know that now you have to tell mom and dad. I mean, this is serious stuff. Listen, I wish I could. But you know about Mom and Uncle Greg. I don't know if that would start something. What do you mean with Mom and Uncle Greg? And well, you know, I want to meet him too. I wish it was that easy. And I mean, Mom and Uncle Greg have a weird relationship. And it's so hard to tell Mom and Dad because... Well, I know they wouldn't say anything exactly bad. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's just... I'm worried they'll think that he doesn't belong with the rest of us. I'm worried maybe they'll say something about his skin color. You don't know that. Oh, really? Yeah. Remember Christina? My friend from high school? Sure, I mean, that was a long time ago, like a long time ago. We don't even really talk anymore. Yeah, well, you guys were pretty close for a while. You even brought her over for dinner and to family parties, right? So? Everyone likes a good pool party. So what? I invited her over a few times. After you introduced Christina to everyone, I heard Mom apologize to Great Aunt Marie for bringing her. Really? Well, maybe they were apologizing for bringing a guest, that's all. I never said that about my friends. Huh. And I remember this one specific incident. We were at Uncle Joe's house, summer pool party. You and Christina left early and I was sitting there and heard Great Aunt Marie going off about Christina. She was talking about how she should stay with her people. You know how she runs her mouth. Anyway, the worst part of it all was mom nodded along. And I got the feeling that she didn't just do it because she was uncomfortable or something. I think she just wanted to make Great Aunt Marie happy. I mean, like, it seemed like she really believed it. Well, you know how Great Aunt Marie can be. It's like she can't help it, you know? To her, there's nothing wrong with speaking like that. She just doesn't know what she's talking about. And Mom, I mean, she was probably uncomfortable. Maybe. What? Nothing. Oh. Come on, it's not nothing. You look like you have something else you want to say. I have nothing. I don't believe you. You don't have to. Listen, Rachel, they liked Christina just fine. I know they did. Yep. Don't start with me. There's something else. What? It was at the same party where Great Aunt Marie made that comment. I went to go to the bathroom and Christina was in there. 
She was crying and she was on the phone with her mom saying how Great Aunt Marie said how she couldn't believe Maggie was friends with a black girl and how shameful that was. I didn't say anything about it because I didn't really know what to do. So when Christina came out of that bathroom, I just pretended like I didn't hear anything or notice how puffy her eyes looked. We all know Great Aunt Marie is a piece of work, but no one is to blame for her actions, not mom or dad. I don't think you're really listening to me. I know my own parents. Well, sometimes people don't speak up when they really should. Rachel, cut it out. You've been gone at school and I've been here and things have been fine. You always say stuff like that. What? That everything is good. Stop faking it all the time. Sometimes people say things that are not good. Not everything is always good all the time. I like to look for the best in people and there's nothing wrong with that. That only goes so far. It's not my fault that apparently you aren't grateful for everything this family has done for you and that you are deciding to keep things a secret from them. Even something of significance like a fiance who you are in love with. I mean, you always made me bring up any guy I was ever dating. You would always bring it up at dinner. Oh, mom, dad, I think Maggie wants to tell you about a certain special someone, but you won't tell them that you are engaged? You know, Rachel, you've really changed. Ever since you went to college, it just seems like you think that you're better than us or something. Of course I'm grateful. And I cannot believe that you are trying to equate me teasing you in high school to this. And you know what? Maybe you're just insecure that you didn't go to college and so you're projecting that on me. Do you know how much they sacrifice for you? And you're sitting here and doing what? Calling them racist or something? I have not called anybody a racist. Don't put words in my mouth. You don't know the half of it. And enlighten me. Go ahead and explain to me how I know nothing and don't have a clue about anything. Go ahead. No, really, go ahead. I heard them. What? One night when you were out visiting a friend, I was here in our room and I heard them talking. They talked about Uncle Greg. Mom was saying things like how Uncle Greg isn't really a part of the family and how he shouldn't get to see us because he's not our real uncle. Sounds pretty resentful to me. What? And in dad's defense, he did tell her it wasn't nice. But I think it's more than just not nice. Let's not get into this. We can't continue and ignore it. I think there's internalized resentment. Oh, you're so fancy. What? Internalized resentment? What, did you learn that in Psych 101? I mean, yeah, I actually did. You just have to always try and show off how smart you are, don't you? No, Maggie, can you just put your feelings aside for two seconds? I'm talking about how I can't just talk to mom and dad about the job offer, the engagement, all of it. What are you talking about? You know, grandma leaving papa. You have got to be kidding me. Well, she left him and maybe there's resentment. And that was her choice to leave. She cheated on him and left papa for grandpa Lenny. Rachel, are you really adding grandpa Lenny into this because he's black? Just let me speak. It's just, Grandma left Mom's dad. Our Papa. Yes, I know. Okay, well, you know that she left after having an affair and getting pregnant. Yep, and then Uncle Greg was born after the divorce. Mom was only five, so I could imagine that would have been hard. And I mean, you know how Grandma's been with Grandpa Lenny ever since. Our Papa's just out of the picture certainly disrupted the family. Yeah? Mom seems to resent Uncle Greg. Probably always has. You don't know that. Oh, really? I don't know that? You don't. You're not a mind reader. Maggie, she has said this stuff out loud. Listen, I'm not their therapist. I don't know what's going on between the two of them. No, you listen. I'm just wondering if there's more to all of this that meets the eye. Rachel. No. You're going to let me talk. I love Derek so much. And we belong together and I'm not going to let anyone tell me differently. I'm not gonna lose him the way you lost Christina. I see. Yeah.
I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm really sorry. I get it. Good. They really said that about Christina, huh? Yep. I wasn't kidding. That's... I know. Disappointing. Yep. But you knew about Uncle Greg. I mean, sure. But I've never really thought about it. I mean, it's easy to ignore the things we don't want to see. Yeah. I just need to think. I know it's hard. Yes, it is. But I think you should still bring Derek. Why do you keep pushing this? It's important. Maggie, why are you doing this again? Because you shouldn't have to hide your life from them. I might have to. My only hope is maybe dad will listen because he defended Uncle Greg. Okay, try that. Please. I just want you to be happy. I'm plenty happy. Are you though? Yes. I don't believe you. I'll think about it. I'll think about telling them about Derek. Dad at least. Good. Probably great Aunt Marie. I haven't talked to Christina in years. What? And I don't know if all of the things you were saying about great Aunt Marie and all have anything to do with that. I wouldn't be surprised. I guess things did end kind of sudden with Christina. That's what it felt like. And I didn't even notice. A whole friendship just gone. I'm sorry. I don't want that for you and Derek. We should go down and greet Great Aunt Marie. I can't. What? I can't do it. Okay. I'll go down to greet her. You stay up here as long as you need. Thank you. I'll just be downstairs, okay? Okay. <laughs>